No matter how old you are, 8 or 80, today we are going to show you how to start learning table tennis without a paddle. If you don't believe me, watch the whole video and I'll prove you. Hello everybody and welcome to Chico TV. First of all, thank you so much for supporting our channel. It's very important for us. So hit the like button, subscribe and join us with Table Tennis World. At this point, you might be thinking, Chico's crazy. Learn Table Tennis without a paddle? Yes, you can. I can go even further. To start learning Table Tennis, you not even need a table what no table no paddle how is this possible well table tennis like all racket sports has something very important in common all of them needs a very good hands eye coordination in order to be able to hit the ball which means your hands and your eyes must be connected all the time so knowing that let me show you some tips to start learning table tennis or improve your hand-eye coordination. If you are a player, follow the drills and you're gonna start learning. If you are a teacher or a coach, this might be a good idea for your students as well. So stay tuned and we are gonna continue the journey. Let's be clear and let's go straight to the point. You don't need the paddle at all to start learning table tennis. Not even the fanciest paddle in the world will make any difference at this point. Hand and eye coordination is the key. At home or wherever you are, you can practice this exercise to start learning. But remember, muscles, tendons, and nerves who command your body takes time to improve. So let's start slow. And the slowest is a balloon. Yeah. You're gonna use a balloon to start learning table tennis. So what do you have to do? So follow me and I'll show you. Blow a balloon as best as you can. That was a scary experience. So let's take another one and try it again. Now that you have your balloon ready, take the balloon with your both hands and throw it in the air as vertical as possible and as high as you can. And wait for the balloon to reach the belly butt height to catch it again. Take a look. It's very important you keep your eyes on the ball. Remember, hand-eye coordination is the skill you're trying to learn and improve. So that is very important. If you think, this balloon is going too slow and taking too long to come down. You can switch to a small one and that will be faster for sure. You repeat and repeat it again until you master the skills using both hands. When you are able to catch the ball, not missing, you can move on to the next level, which is using only one hand. Now that you master this skill with both hands, we're going to start practicing with your dominant hand. If you're righty, the right hand, your lefty, the left hand. So, with one hand, you're gonna start doing this similar exercise. Hit the ball as high as you can, wait for the ball fall on your belly, but high as a ref. I suggest you to really practice this drill indoor, which is much easier because you have no wind, so it's much better to keep the ball going vertical, up and down. So, after you master this one, you can start alternating hands as well. So now you're gonna play with your dominant hand and your non-dominant hand. You can keep going high or low bounces, but keep the ball controlling, but always keep your eyes on the ball all the time. After master all of this, and having a good eye coordination, you are confident now, you can start changing direction of the ball. 
Now you need a little bit more time and maybe even pressing in the wall to continue improving your hand-eye coordination. You can hit the ball, weight the ball forward into your belly but tight because this is a reference you have and you're gonna hit the ball with the palm of your hand to your left. So take a look. Wait, hit. That's similar to our forehand stroke. But remember, we are not pressing the forehand stroke yet. We are pressing just your hand-eye coordination. You should repeat this drill as many times as you can and you are mastering the skill. That's the goal. You're getting really good now in hand-eye coordination, I'm sure. So let's move on to the next one, which is using the back of your hand to hit the ball to a different direction as well. Using the palm of your hand to hit high, wait for the ball falling into your belly butt high, and using the back of your hand to hit the ball in two different directions. You can hit forward or you can hit to the right. Take one and master it, like this. Remember, it's very important to keep your eye on the ball all the time and wait for your belly butt high. This way you're gonna improve even faster. Skill learned, let's move on to the next level. And we are going harder and harder every time. So every exercise must challenge you enough to improve yourself. And this way, you're gonna master all skills. Right hand to the left hand, palm of your hand, or back of your hand. You decide, you can alternate the way you like most. But don't forget the most important, and I have to insist on it. Keep your eyes on the ball all the time. Let's do it, one more time. Back of your hand, back of your hand, palm, palm, back, back. You, are, you can alternate the way you like. The most important is keep the hand and the eye coordinated as best as you can. So, let's move on to the next level. I can give you more tips, I can go on and on and on, just using the balloon. So see how important is just a small tool. You can learn table tennis, not even have a paddle, not even have a table. I told you that. From this point on, you can start pressing with different kind of balls or objects. A big difference now is you're gonna really have to catch the ball because this kind of balls might not bounce on your hands like the balloon. So, pickleball ball. For different types of ball, I'll give you one extra tip and a golden tip. Did you notice I'm throwing the ball on my eyes height? That will be the easiest one if you're pressing with this kind of object. Or you can take a tennis ball. Same concept. Wait for the ball falling into your belly butt height and keep your eye on the ball all the time. You can have, by the end, a table tennis ball. So this is a bicolor. It's easy to see. You can throw it the same way. You can also alternate hands. You throw with the left, catch with the right or vice versa. Slowly, baby steps, you are going to improve. At some point, you're gonna to have to do more complicated exercise. You can take, for example, two types of ball and switch hands while one ball is in the air, you switch the hands. Those are more complex exercises you're gonna, you can master as well, but you are going to improve for sure. At some point, you can take even a different ball and you can try to use one hand only. And I suggest you to take your dominant hand. At this point, we are practicing juggling. That's it. You can go further with three balls as well. Not today. In another time, we are going to show you as well. Chico. What if I don't have a balloon, I don't have a pickleball ball or tennis ball or even a table tennis ball to start pressing my hand-eye coordination? Well, if you are at home or wherever you are, you might find a piece of paper, just a sheet of paper like this, and that will help you as well to improve. So if you smash the paper sheet 
And if you use this as a was a ball, you can also practice their hand-eye coordination. Remember, hand and eye must be connected all the time. And you can do the same. Throw the ball, catch it. Throw the ball, catch it. You always have a chance to improve your skills, no matter where you are. If you're waiting a doctor for an appointment or whatever you were doing, you always can find a piece of paper and continue practicing whatever you are. Every single minute of practice counts is on your YouTube. Have in mind, this is just the first step to start learning table tennis. There are much more skills you have to learn and much more steps. We are starting from the beginning and then we're gonna reach the advanced level. Well. Hey, what is the name of the skill we practice today? If you said hand eye coordination, congratulations. And what do you think will be the next step to continue learning and improving table tennis? The next skill is hit the like button and subscribe, smash it. Spread even more the words, keep your eyes on our channel. We are going to reveal in our shorts what will be the next skills we are gonna practice. So thank you so much, enjoy the week and I'll see you next time. Bye.